It's only been two weeks since I entered the city-state territory, and I now got myself into the biggest mess of this whole infiltration mission. Oh, it's him! It's that Harmonian Battlelord Luther was talking about. After Moose fell into a Highland army, I learned of Luca Blight's absence and stuck back into Muse, which had become the army's main base. But it was there that my luck went out. With us. It's been his voice, and he appears to be able to come and go as he pleases. Even though Luke of Blight wasn't there, my own arrogance had got me into this mess. I thought I'd managed to escape the garrison and arrived at Muse's western border ahead of a pursuit, but it was still blooming along behind me. If I could just make it through a forest ahead of me, I'd be in Greenhill, another member of the city states. Starters. The commander called Seed swung his long narrow sword at me. I managed to dodge it, but it just barely. Seems the attack was just for testing me. Oh, you avoided it. Are you enjoying yourself? Seed. One rat isn't worth toying with. Finish him off. <laughs> Let me play with him just a little. Shit. Is he just playing with me? Discreetly, I slip a cylinder of wrapped in paper out of my sleeve and into my hand. Well, you see how it is. So just give up already and enjoy your trip to the afterlife. Try not to hold a grudge. As if. I have no plans to go to the afterlife anytime soon. I have a lingering attachment to this life and have grown far more fond of it. Well, that's just too bad for you. He came at me once more. Prepared to strike. This time he was serious. As he was a master swordsman, it's extremely difficult to try and read his moves. I closed my eyes and concentrated on the blood first emanating from my opponent. It was sink or swim now. I didn't dodge his attack. He instead took the chance to crush the tube I held in my hand. Son of a what the hell was that? Where'd that bastard go? It seems our foe is no rat. He's a charlatan. It as it appears, he's managed to escape us yet again. We'll have to arrange a search party. If this turns out to be a mountain hunt, locating our prey will be no easy feat. That won't be necessary. Just a look at the blood on my sword. That injury should slow him down considerably. I remember seeing Corgan. Somehow I had anticipated what my next move would be, and it ambushed me while I had been travelling along the mountain path that led from Muse to Greenhill. Rumour has it that the Highland army will be growing up the south window next. They formed a secret agreement with the Knights and Matilda. My only choice is to try and get to Greenhill. I'll be about it as it may, my wounded right leg is throbbing with lead to sleep. One of the techniques I've learned with the Howling Voice Guild was how to escape. While my opponent's been blinded by the flash I set off, I used wire to escape that beast general's attack, but his sword still managed to find me. A whole day has already passed, but I can't afford to be careless. The forest opened up, and before me lay a bridge destroyed by a storm. I knew it. They had luck and left me high and dry. There's another path that leads down along the valley, but it's quite a detour. I'm not sure if I can make it through the other side. But either way, it's a gamble and the Highland search party will be catching up with me soon. Well, what should I do? I can't jump across, can I? Which I'd like to. I have to take a detail, aren't I? No, I'd better not. When you're out of luck, it's better to be careful. While I'm worried about my pursuers, if they're using horses or mountain path, it won't be easy for them to catch up with me. In order to take the quickest route to the valley path, I once again went into a forest.
I only been in the forest for a short while when I sense something. I tried to act as natural as possible while I checked my equipment. The presence remained. It didn't move like an animal would. I started to run. The presence was following me in the forest, followed suit. What's going on? This is a strange this is a strange behaviour from a Highland army. Despite following my move so closely, it felt as though his pursuers hesitant to attack. Who's there? Aren't we a bit too old to be playing tag? Just as I called out, the present melded with that of a forest and disappeared. I knew it hadn't really gone though. This had to become a contest of endurance. Once more I began to run. Five minutes. The presence was still there. Ten minutes. The distance between us remained unchanged. Fifteen minutes. My right leg is killing me. Shit. Looks like I'm gonna have to be one to give up. I don't know who you are, but I don't find this funny. If you know how if you knew I'm wounded and just playing with me, then go ahead and end it, I well then, don't mind if I do, young Master Latka. Oh! At that instant, her presence disappeared, and before my eyes, a woman appeared instead. Well, that's an interesting sight if you know a sewer code and characters. The Howling Voice Guild teaches many different skills, not all of them related to killing. Even in the darkness of that, the guild respect and awe can still be found. Elza was one of a few night class gunners. The highest level of gunner one could obtain. She was also one of a few friends I'd gotten to know during my two years in the guild. Elza! Well, this is unexpected. The guild is keeping its on both of us, so there's no reason to be cold, is there? I wonder. There's every possibility that you are my pursuer from the guild. Are you? Nah, no way. I attacked a member of a guild, but never trust me enough to give you not such an important mission. You should know that. How annoying would be a logical conclusion to draw. However, the guild has taken notice of your abilities. I hear that amongst the elders there are those who favour you. Well. I will take this matter into my own hands. With this declaration, Elza drew her guns, one in each hand. Two guns faithfully bound together by name, Stern and Mund. I can't best you in a guild match. I know I'm no match for someone of your skill. That's why Clive was chosen as your tracker. Only a night class gunner could win against another night class gunner. Isn't that right? More or less. Despite my words, Elza made no move to put her guns away. I'll. I mean, what would you do in the face of that? I'll pull the trigger if I would dart. Flash bomb in my hand. Phone knife in my hand. I think it's a bad move regardless of what I choose. Without another word, I let loose a dart. This isn't a duel between fellow gunners. Well, I see no reason either of us should. There's no stopping Elsa or I from losing our lives out here. But Elsa dodges a dart effortlessly. Without ever taking her aim off me. Aren't you going to use the skills you learned from a guild to get away from me? I made her first move, but it really was no match for her. I was a common for the guns, one in each hand. And I knew her composure was for show. In that case. Okay. Well. Hey! It's no use pretending to surrender. You haven't changed a bit, have you? Even when she's not around, you still like to pretend you're some kind of pacifist. You see right through me, eh? As expected, my usual bag of tricks aren't going to be any use against a night class gunner. 
Ruining my right leg is still aching. I've been driven into a corner. As I realise this, the blades on my back had begun trembling in anticipation of being unsealed some time ago. What's the press there, evil desire? Well, I'll just get on with it then. In an instant, that was a closer distance between us. But I quickly shot my wire with a branch overhead. Resulting in recoil sending me flying into the air. You're going to have to try harder than that. I was a shot my wire snapping it. I lost my balance, kicked up a branch and kept through the air. And left through the air, high above Elvis' head. But... Well, it looks like, looks like it's my victory, doesn't it? It's not over yet. This isn't some spat in the guild's garden. In combat, one, the last one standing is a victor. But let's finish this. I see. I'll just say we call it a draw. A light, shining powder had begun to fall around Elsa and I, covering the nearby area. It was a mixture containing blasting and ignition powder. The smallest spark would set up an explosion power enough to blow the entire area. In short, Elsa can't fire a gun without killing us both. It seems that some things have changed since after then, after all. In that case, why don't you stop kidding around and load that gun already? Kidding around? You shot through my wire, but with your aim, you could have just as easily shot me. Indeed, you doubtless could have hit me at distances even greater than that. Well, if I had been serious, you would have died even before you even noticed I was there. <laughs> you are a terrible person. I had to make sure you hadn't become a coward. In order to test you, I couldn't go easy on you. And if you found out that you had, I wouldn't have hesitated to send you to the afterlife. See, Elsa's an interesting case for most people who play Suikoden. She's a character who you'll barely run into. You might run into her once or twice, and that's it. But for people who really love a game and really love a game, she's a vital character to an interesting character. A vital sub character to an interesting playable character. She's part of one of the hardest quests in Suikoden 2, and all of Suikoden, to be honest, actually. You really are terrible. After enjoying a rabbit I caught for us, we saved her a coffee that Elsa had bought with her. She was indeed a night class gunner, the highest rank of a Howling Voice Guild. Yeah, you could still say that. I've been sent for training for Howling Voice Guild, also known as the Guild of Assassination and Protection. It's the only entity in the world which knows the secret behind guns. It's an extremely insular guild, very few aside from those raised in the guild, from a young age, can even become members. Thanks to their mysterious guns, they are very powerful and hold a special position, even in Harmonia. I, having entered as an intern, was able to learn some of my secrets while remaining neutral to the guild. Phew, I could barely keep my eyes open. How was it? Rabbit stew, I mean. I don't think my cooking skills have declined. Yeah, that's true. You still use too much seasoning. My only thought was to please you, my lady. <laughs> You really haven't changed, have you? Ah well, you know. A lot of things have happened since then, but I'm still me. Some things never change. <laughs> hey. Hmm? What is it?
bad incident. You and I both have things in our past that we don't want, we don't care to discuss. I won't tell you about myself, Cliven Kelly. And you won't tell me about you and Zaj and what happened to that woman. Cliven Kelly? Was that Kelly or Killy? Probably Kelly actually. It's for the best. Yeah. Well, we better hurry up and get some sleep. Tomorrow we'll be in, we'll be in the bed another early morning. Why is that? That wounded leg of yours. Your shoes did that to you, I gather. Yeah. I got myself into a bit of trouble with a Highland army. Can you lend a hand if I show up? Sorry, but I've no quarrel with Highland. You really haven't changed at all. She poured the remains of her coffee over the fire, extinguishing it, and went to sleep. She was right. It's not as if talking about it now would change her past. No matter how much we might, miss, might wish it. There are definitely signs of a battle. Yeah, we'll find out what they think about the battle next episode. Till then, bye bye.